All right, guys, welcome back to the Outer Worlds, and I actually forgot what I was doing. Um, let's go here. I, were we? I'm pretty sure we were like just finishing off this right here, but I'm. I think I want to go. I can't remember if I have gone over here or not. I'm pretty sure I have. That's the first little town we have. Um, but we got some bad guys over here. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, I missed. Nice job, guys. I absolutely love the, uh, Ray. So I, I guess people do end up coming back to these spots that we've already cleared out. Because I know I've already been here. What the hell? Oh, maybe... Did I... Maybe I haven't. Oh no, I did. This is where I deleted all the, uh, stuff. Did I go up here? Yes. Unlock the lady from that room. I remember now. <laughs> Putting trash in its rightful place for more than 70 years. That's a long time, Sam. Oh, there's still a guy out here. So that's interesting. They um they do repopulate. What is this? Oh yeah, the euthanasia kit. Uh are we saving this? Maybe. I think we're only saving, um, yeah, stuff that's really, really good. Alright, so, the printer. We gotta return to Graham for that one. She is over here. I think we are pretty much done. I'm gonna go check over here one more time just to make sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's one of the first towns that we found. Yeah, it just seems weird that there's no marker of anything over here. Oh, wow. Everyone all right? 
wash your wounds. Yeah, we, we definitely discovered all this. It just confused me because there was no marker. Okay. So what we'll do is fast travel to all the places that we can actually finish. Oh, Sam. Some stuff, and then uh, we'll continue with stuff we haven't done yet. If you'll just listen... No, no more listening. No more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? If there are gunships, they sure didn't stop me from landing here. They are armed all the same. All they need is a good reason, and war is one such reason. Okay, well the printing press is all yours. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Yes, the Vanois are on their way back. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Sermons, for the love of... I'm going to see to the wounded. Uh, we got 2,000 bits, plus another 700. Oh, uh, and possible armor. Nioka, I can smell you're having fun. What? I have some All questions. Right. Tell me about the Iconoclast, what's your story? I uh, will ask him about the it all. The Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs. All petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. But it's, it'd be dangerous to let anarchy run rampant. This is not anarchy. Society requires structure, Captain. It is just that the board's structure is killing the colony. True. Ours will not. What's your story? Before all this, I was a writer for MSI's product catalog. It was my purpose to spread awareness of Saltuna in its various forms. The certainty with which I spun among the other cogs in their machines stifled creativity and personal growth. What made you see the eternal light? I can relate flying my own course may be dangerous, but at least it's freedom. On that we agree. I want to know more about your teachings. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? I hear the word eternal thrown around a lot. What is it? Ah, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Even OSI, are their members simply similarly divine? Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. What do you mean by an awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, 
every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. So, Saint Joe betrayed you, returned to religion, and now here we are. But his workers enjoy much more freedom than those of the board. Their leashes may be longer, but their collars are just as tight. No, they seem fine. Can we go to anything else? So Sanjar betrayed you, eternally, and now we're here. I've brushed with death, but I don't believe any of this. But then your will is stronger than most. Your moment is yet to come. How exciting! Okay. Do you believe in a creator? Not in the sense of a single entity. Fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time. Organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. Right, but what started it all? Questions like these are distractions. It doesn't matter whether an entity sparked the universe or not. Only by pursuing the eternal truth will we find these and other answers. Okay, let me see if I can get this first one. So, Sandra, I betrayed you. You turned to religion. Now we're here. I suppose here. that's one way to look at it. Another is that misfortune often brings opportunity. I found my path through the tragedies of my past. Okay. All right. I've heard the people mention Amber Heights massacre. What happened? I'm sorry. As long as it's been, I'd still rather not speak of it. That was a painful day for us all. I can only imagine. Sorry, I asked. Why did you have family here? It's fine. Perhaps someday I'll be strong enough to recall that tragedy, but today is not that day. Why have you come? I'll be going. Where'd Zora go? Zora! What? Sorry. Long day. I guess she does not want to talk at all. Let's see. We'll do some of these other ones first. Not this one, though. That's the uh, crazy one. Okay, so we didn't follow up with Catherine Malin. See if you can get the location from her. Return to Sandra with the data cartridge. You have evidence that UDL has been secretly developing a crowd control gas on Monarch. This is the proof Sandra needs to make his appeal to the board. Okay, so we have that one. We can purchase the casserole. So both of these are in the same place. There's Nyoko's. To go back to Scylla. And we have to go back to Stellar Bay here. Okay, so we have three of them, I believe, in the same spot. So let's do this one. Wait. There we go. Back at Fallbrook.
Did you find them? Tell me you found my dr I mean my sprat carriers. Would hate should anything dire have befallen them. I found your sprat carriers, but someone stole the delivery. Uh no. You want the good news or the bad news? Just tell me straight and don't hold back. I can handle it. I traded your jugs, but Raptodons killed your carriers in the cave. Sprats can always be replaced. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, this is per This is only half! Are you you think you can steal from me? I searched the cave top to bottom, that's all there was. Search Fallbrook. Either half the sprats got loose on their own, or there'll be some evidence pointing to the soon-to-be-dead snake who filched my carriers. You want your cut? You get me the rest of my drugs, no matter what it takes. This guy's crazy. Find the missing sprats. I don't like doing this drug mission. Feels wrong. This mini Malin, get your twitchy whiskers back here. Don't you run out that door? It's a cruel world outside. I think I gotta kill him. Stupid. God damn it. Corpse detected. That was just a sprat hide. I say. All that screaming and the random hours of the night puts a damper on the mood. Oh, it's just Miss Malin working on some of that. This is the most difficult mission. Oh my god. Okay, so this is what we have to do. Damn it all. Now look what you've done. It'll take me ages to round him up again. State your purpose or get out of my face, domicile intruder. I'm looking for some missing sprats. You wouldn't have seen any around? Missing? Nope. Nope. Mine are all found and accounted for. Thank you kindly. Now if that'll be all. I've got an animal rescue service to oversee, and it ain't easy. Lots to do. Got a multitude of sprats to spay and feed. These sprats you stole are drug carriers. I'm here to retrieve the goods. Rescue sprats, as in rescued from sublight shipping tunnels? Day in, day out, they ran their little route, getting picked off along the way. What was I to do, turn a blind eye? Malin's an animal lover. She won't hold my actions against me. Look. I don't care if Nelson sent you or not. You won't be hurting a hair on any of these sprats' heads. I've killed vicious beasts for them. I ain't afraid to take on a human. Back out of this domicile, hands up, or become sprat food, intruder. I won't hurt your sprats. The drugs have probably passed through their digestive tracts already. No need for vivisection. Sprats possess rapid digestive systems. You want to dig through sprat droppings? Be my guest. Get your drugs, then get lost. That's a big fucking sprat. Uh, oh, pooey. Stealing your shit because you were an asshole to me. Ugh.
Keeping a pistol near the toilet. I like his style. Got the goods? Because I know you wouldn't be wasting my time otherwise. Wink. As a matter of fact, I could do. I got some questions. Hit me. I won't even hit back. Punch him in the eye. It really wants me to do that. What was I doing for you again? What do you do around here? Got any dirt on Catherine? Miss Catherine Malin is one tough lady. Show her a bit of backbone, and I swear she'll like you more for it. What was I doing for Pure you again? Simple. It's like this. I run our <laughs> drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our auto loaders with faster, cheaper sprats. Only problem is, my sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. You're retrieving the lost goods for me. In return, I'm paying you a percent of the profit. What do you do around here? Officially, I keep the books for Miss Malin, provide loans to the Byzantium Goldbloods for gaming, and oversee our drug running operations. Speaking of, might I interest you in a purchase? I'll give you a first-time discount. That's 5% off and a free drink at the ante up. You're welcome. No pass. Suit yourself. Ow! What the... What was that for? You said to hit you. You told me to hit you, yeah. You're nuttier than Miss Malin. Cripes. <laughs> Remind me never to cross you. Though, you put that mean right hook to good use getting my drugs, and I'll be more than happy. Sure it is. Wink. You can't just wink. You do? I mean, you do! Of course you do! What did I tell you? Sure fire delivery system. Works almost every time. Sure, until someone comes along and rescues them from their pathetic lives. Sure, they're wrapped it on fodder and suffer the occasional overdose when a container dissolves in their stomach acid. Wait, what do you mean rescued them? Bertrand didn't appreciate the abuse they were suffering, so he stole them from the tunnels. That deranged piece of sprat shit! If Bertrand ain't already dead, he's about to be. I owe you for bringing this breach in security to my attention. As promised, you're cut, plus a little extra to show my gratitude. Now, if there's nothing else you need from me, I must go inventory my goods. Hit me. I would I'll like to make back. you not hurt that guy. He's just... Sure Damn it. it is. Wink. Damn it. Well, hopefully that doesn't... Come back to bite him in the air. Oh. He doesn't have anything. Completely forgot we could do that. Um. Let's see. This one is Stella Bay. We can go back there. We got a couple things. So let's go ahead and do that. And all the sound, music and sound is back to normal, so it was just a bug. How's my weapon at? Ooh, it's not the greatest. There we go. Sam, uh, I've got a question. Do you use alpha? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen, but I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. I must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Man, the pillars ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. <laughs> At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rap glands or manticlaws, 
I've got you covered. No one needs that, man. I found Mr. Pickett's journal. He'll probably be wanting it back. You see any sign of him? He's dead, eaten by a mana queen. I found the journal inside a dead mana queen. Funny place to leave a journal. But what about Mr. Pickett? Who knows, by the looks of things, this guy's a real escape artist. Mysteries of the universe, I guess. So this journal is all he left behind? Seems like I ought to read it. Looks mighty long, though. Maybe you and Celia can read it together on your date. I bet she'll like that. She's real enthusiastic about all sorts of monsters. In any case, I appreciate you tracking down Mr. Pickett for me. Here's some bits for your trouble. Let's huh? talk about something else. Like what? Nothing. Okay, so that was really... Let's see, Mr. Pickett... Okay, yeah, okay. No botched. Okay, so even though we didn't do that one thing we were supposed to technically do, um, where was it? The one, that one has an X on it, it's still not technically botched, so that's good. Um, Scylla. Let's go ahead and purchase this real quick for uh, Pavardi. Hopefully we have Intimidate up to get a little cheaper. I see. If you got the bit. Intimidate. You take me for an idiot. No damn casserole is worth that much. Try again. Try harder. Whoa. Hold on. I. Okay. Okay. Leak contained. My stars. Look, Captain. This is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. I'm glad you saw reason. 2,000 bits is much more reasonable. I'm mighty glad you reckon so. This is gonna take about an hour in the oven. Nothing I can do to speed it. That's just how cooking works. Okay, so there we got the we casserole. Are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. Yeah, no problem. Go do what you gotta do, buddy. Alright, so this one is back on the ship. Uh, let's see. We can go see Sanjar. There he is. Did I search this? Oh, it's to do this, like, yeah. Steal OSI puzzle. What do you think ah, damn you're it. Doing? There was no way to do it. I was just leaving. I don't have time for this. Move along. Our reputation didn't decrease, though, did it? Damn it. Monarch Stellar. Okay, it's still 100%. Negative one just because we stole something. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, let's see. I need MSI to stop. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we'll do this one first. I found a data cartridge with the details of UDL's secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Not so fast. What's 
What are these reformations you're talking about? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. You... you are? You... that... You could do a lot of good around here, you know. Don't go getting my hopes up. But that's entirely the point. We've got to hope. We have got to partake once more of the full resources and opportunities of Halcyon. What about the folks out in the wilderness? Amber Heights, Fallbrook. Will you share with them, or will you hoard those resources here? Exactly. My sincerest hope is for MSI to become a model for all of Halcyon. But we must start somewhere. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Vault 52. With that data you're holding, of course. Oh, did I say I had a data cartridge? That was just what I call my left nut. What? <laughs> We'll give it to him. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Hey, there we go. Then it's good. So I used to work with Graham. Why not mention that earlier? Ah. So you've heard about our prior acquaintance. No sense being coy about it. We're partners now, aren't we? I suppose you're right. Graham's always had a way with words. Strange as it may seem, I suspect he'd have quite the corporate career if he weren't so radical. Graham seemed like a reasonable man years ago. and We both agreed that MSI's treatment of its workers was untenable. I thought reforms would be enough. I didn't realize you wanted to abolish the corporate system entirely. You didn't tell me that Hiram found the loophole giving MSI control of Monarch. Well, technically he may have suggested it, but he certainly wasn't doing the paperwork himself. What can I do for you? Okay. So... We can report back to Hiram, but we still need Slaughterhouse Clive. Let's see, that's the Groundbreaker. That's Scylla. Okay, so we'll go ahead with Slaughterhouse Clive. Which is the Boar's Factory, one of the only places we have not gone to. I think it's the only place. So I'm wondering... I don't know if we have a thing for it. Yeah, that's sealed. We'll see if there's another way. Whoa. Just slid right off the rock. Not really any need to deal with them. See nothing over here. Ah, this factory offers the loveliest aroma. So, so far it's looking like that is the only way to get in. Wait, didn't they s Oh yeah, right there. Okay, I was gonna say, isn't there something about... ...behind the waterfall? I 
Why, thank you. Thirty-four. Thirty-nine. What's ours? Forty-three, okay. And there we go. And since it's been a while since we got this one, let's read up on it again. Okay, with the scarcity of Saltuna alternatives on Monarch, Clive Lumberg has been making a killing by operating the plant's last remaining Borst factory. Sublight wants to take the self-proclaimed Borst king of Monarch's profits for themselves and have hired you to get rid of him. Deal with Clive. Make your way to Clive Lumber's office in the CMP factory and get him out of Sublight's way. Alternatively, search the factory for a way to sabotage Clive's operations. Catherine suggests investigating the Sisty Pig food supply, the candy machine, or the financial records. Okay. Of course, we're going to try to do it without killing him because it's. I mean, right now, it didn't seem like. You know, he's a bad person. Okay, we got. Ladder. Oh, sorry, sir. There's someone sitting in the toilet. Okay, CMP financial records. Alright, we just edited them. Oh, we did that, okay. We can now just return to Catherine that easy. God damn it. Okay, so we did that pretty easy, but again, we needed to have our lockpick, you know, up there, so. And then not dilly-dally too much in the other rooms, you have to go kind of straight to it or else you're going to run out of, um, um, the disguise. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Factor's out of service, just like you asked. Fast, efficient, eager to please? Might be I should ask you for more favors. Guessing your services don't come cheap. Still, this ought to compensate for your troubles. And take an aromatic. You stink like Sisty Pig. What? Took care of a little drug running problem. Funny you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. Oh yeah, he tried to cut costs by using sprats instead of autoloaders for transport. That thunderhead. Can't hardly fathom how that panned out. Let me guess, it involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. Well, you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess. Hey, level 24. Muting volume now. Will she have anything good?
Oh, I already looked at these. Uh. Yeah. Damn it, so I stole that for nothing. Alright, we leveled up. Um, I really want to get Persuade and Lockpick up there. Um, do we want to do any more of this? Companion skill bonus to player skills 100%. Yeah, let's get this to 60. And then the next stuff we'll work on is uh, Persuade. Human Coward Chance plus 10% cents. So we just need two more levels to get this one to 100. Now, perks. Headshot kills explode, damaging nearby enemies. Ooh. After killing an enemy, your weapons sway accuracy penalties. Uh, there's something about blood and violence that helps you focus. That's not disturbing at all. Your next attack after killing an enemy is a guaranteed critical hit. When you use an inhaler, any down companions are revived with a small amount of health. Ooh. Increase the armor rating and skill bonuses from any armor you wear. 10% armor, 100% skill. I like this. Now, what the hell did she give me? Whoa. Damage to creatures plus 25%. It looks cool. I mean, I really can't see him too much, but... It doesn't do too much. It is only a level 15, though. Well, that's only a level 16. Um, we got something. Got, like, f four things. I think they're only, like, to smell better, though. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, that's the casserole. Okay. So now, we can do Radio Free Monarch. Um, oh, that's the, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sell out. Wait. Sold his office board, CO2 Gladys. Buy it back from her so that you can fly to Byzantium with the official board papers and turn in Phineas. No, I'm not going to do that. Um... That's that relay. We can do that after we finish up Monarch. That's Groundbreaker. Pavardi. Okay, so we can still do Nyokas. Which is just a random spot, it seems. I do wonder, if, now can we go into that Borst factory and just do whatever?
And man, I can't believe it. It's I've already been recording for 45 minutes. Time flies with this game. Wrapped. Let's clear this sulfur sod and fuck out so Hayes can rest. One order of second fan coming up. Takes me too long to switch. Hayes Grave. Buried near the surface of Hayes Grave is a small lunchbox. Its hinges rusted through and its wood almost completely rotted. It nearly falls apart in your hands, but in it you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion. Bearing the letters Charon. Sharon. However you want to say it. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. Hold on, tell me about the UDL contract. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks, and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. You didn't try to find them? I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. For it's worth, I'm glad you... You're trying to com confront it. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now come on, let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Okay. The information broker. And actually, we need to go back in for the main thing anyway, so works out. I'm sure, I'm glad the station's under control again. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. MSI and the Iconoclast are no longer transmitting. Oh, we're going to do Nyoka. Need a favor. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. She's your friend and she's in need. You're the only one who can help. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacers choice outposts these are the coordinates for the outpost under the last udl contract mm -hmm. now scram and uh good luck msi and the iconoclast are no longer transmitting is the data ready yes indeed i am back in business but before we get down to it might i ask how you handled the problem in the end does it matter job's done Hmm, is that so? I hope both MSI and Iconoclast get what they wanted. 
You're the information broker. If you want to know, it'll cost you. Oh, I believe it will. But the price I pay won't be to you. No, we've a bigger deal to settle. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver, so I can input the needed adjustments. Phineas doesn't trust many people. How'd he hook up with you? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose- Oh. Oh. Apologies. You meant- Right. Yes. I braved the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. See, and I bet- And I bet I have a- whole new checklist of crap to do before it works, right? Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no oh, errors, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Except it needs three keys before it activate and I'll have to go find them, Eternal right? I don't know. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Who would ever design something It's making like fun of... However, I love that. You're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. Speed setting? Whistle while you work. Don't bless the blood vestal. I'll give it some consideration. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. It's making fun of um, games where it's like a quest of, oh, you just have to go and turn on this tower. Oh, you get there and it turns out nothing's there that you need. So now you have to search the entire map for these three things. It's going to take you an hour and a half to do and then go back. <sighs> All right, yeah, we're doing Star Cross Troopers, but where is this one? As a purely hypothetical thought exercise, if I were to boil leather in Manti blood to give it a nice purple hue, is there a way to get the stench out afterward? Recommended dry cleaning service for fabric type, incineration. <laughs> Testing, one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Happily, I won't bother you again. Look. He told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? Oh, shit. Whose ship was that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI, or did MSI not cease broadcasting? <laughs> well, someone explain what's going on. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. 
Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Surely we can talk this over. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Holy shit. How did it come down? Canaan's crater, why did that just pop up? We're gonna do this one. Oh wait, damn it. We have to go to Terra 2, so we will not be doing this one yet. Move Canyon's Crable, Space Time Continuum. So is this where it landed? Well, I guess we... Can you do anything except clean? Sam's new diet soap capsules pack twice the cleaning power and half the calories. Order a 5,000 caps carton for this unit today. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing we came down here anyway, because this is the closest way to it. We've already killed everything. Oh wow, there it is. So guys, we're going to go ahead and end it here. And when we come back, we're going to go ahead and search the UDL gunship. We got some raptodons over here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and I'll see you. Bye.